Welcome to day two of Advent of Code 2024. We're going to be speed running the puzzles. Okay. Internal server error. We're going to implement this poorly, and use a really slow algorithm that basically removes every single one and sees if it's safe. Okay, excellent. For today's puzzle, we have to go through a list of lists of numbers and we have to count how many lists are safe. Now what defines a safe list is all the numbers in the list are either increasing or decreasing and two adjacent numbers in the list differ by at least one and at most three. So for example, this first line is safe because all the numbers are decreasing and each time it steps down by one or two, the middle four are unsafe because 
they're either not all increasing or decreasing, or the differences are more than uh, one, two, or three. For example, two to seven here, that makes the list unsafe because two to seven is a jump of five. How we implement this in Python, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here, is rather very brute forcey. So the idea is we go through all the lines in our input, and then we just split it into integers using list comprehension down here. And then for every list, I executed a function which determines whether the list is safe or not. Basically, there's two cases. Either the numbers are increasing or they're decreasing, and we detect which case it is based on the first two numbers. So if the first two numbers are increasing, then the whole list has to be increasing for it to be safe. Likewise, if the first two numbers are decreasing, everything has to be decreasing. So for the increasing case, we go through all of the numbers in the list. We check every adjacent pair, and we see if the difference is between 1 to 3. Um, if at any point this is violated, then the list is bad, so we return false. If at the end no violations have been detected, then we can return true. In the decreasing case, we do the same thing, except we check between negative 3 and negative 1 because the numbers are going down. Uh, at the end, we have a number counting the number of safe lists, and we can print that out. Now, for part 2, we are given that a list can be safe even if it has like one bad number in it. So essentially a list is safe if uh, removing a single level from an unsafe report would make it safe. So the way I did this was very brute forcey. Um, basically I wrote a new function called is really safe and it tests every single copy of this list that removes a single number. So first we check if the original list is safe because if so it is still safe. Otherwise we can remove uh, every single number from the list. This is a very slow algorithm, obviously, because it checks every number like once and then runs through the entire list again. So if these lists were longer, then this algorithm might be really slow. But thankfully, the lists are not that long. There's like eight numbers or so in each one. So it doesn't run too slow. We basically remove every single number using this Python list slicing thing, go through all the indices, and then basically take everything to the left, everything to the right, mush them together, check if that's safe. If so, then the entire list is safe because we're allowed to have some accidents. Do the same thing as before, count up the number of safe lists, and then we have our answer. Today, it seems like people solve the puzzles pretty fast as well. We had one minute, two minute, three minute times. I sadly did not get on the later board, but it's really hard to. I still did really well though. I'm proud of these times. We saw the first one in four minutes, second one in five and a half, ranked 260 and 160. Very satisfied with those. And that's it for day two. If you want to see my code, it'll be linked to in the description below. There's a GitHub repository where I keep my code to all of the day's puzzles. I also have previous year's code. You can find those on my profile as well. And if you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. I'll try my best to answer. And then thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for day three.